January 2024. Police were advised by a county deputy of a pickup truck traveling at a high rate of speed in Lake Halley, Wisconsin. A 22-year-old male driver named Nicholas was reportedly traveling 85 miles per hour in a 50 mile per hour zone, resulting in the deputy's inability to intercept the vehicle. Minutes later, a Lake Halley police officer observed the speeding truck and began to pursue it. When he initiated his emergency lights, Nicholas immediately fled. 95, traffic's light, just coming up to Eddy Lane. We'll be heading eastbound on North Crossing. We're in the roundabout at Black Avenue. Southbound Black Avenue. As the pursuit escalated to speeds of 100 miles per hour, the officer noticed the truck's tailgate open, where an ice fishing sled full of gear was yeeted onto the roadway. We are going eastbound Tower Drive. We just lost ice fishing equipment at Tower Drive and 41st Avenue. Um, Ice fishing equipment came out the back, it's all over the road if you want to have a unit come that way to clear the road. Right? Sorry, babe. It's a 66, or correction, about 45 miles an hour now. Nicholas soon turned down a road that the officer knew led to a dead end at a boat landing by the lake. We are now turning southbound onto Indian Hills. I believe this is going to dead end into Lake Altoona. Without hesitation, Nicholas proceeded to drive onto the frozen lake and turned off his headlights, causing the officer to terminate the pursuit. 274 County, I'm going to be discontinuing. He's driving onto Lake Altoona. He is on the lake. 274, discontinuing. 274 County. I'll remain at this landing if you want to notify Eau Claire to have units go to the other landing. You okay, Kita? Had a little water splash around back there, didn't we? You did good. You did good. He's out uh, doing donuts out in the middle now. Yeah, I, uh, I discontinued once he got on the lake. I have no idea what the thickness is out here, but he's uh, he's he's right there. All three of them are going over there. That's his that's his headlights out there. Leave it to Dan. <laughs> she didn't like the ride. You want to pull another car just so he doesn't sneak there, and I'll lay spikes right here in case he decides. Put yours in like your back seat or something in case you need them later. Hey, you okay back here? Stay. Stay. 
any name or anything on any of that gear did you notice i looked there was already somebody there scavenging it on scene <laughs> and then there was some other lady that had a sled and stuff pulled off with the auger and stuff in it so yeah, all of a sudden tailgate dropped and there goes his sled and all of his ice fishing gear and then every corner it's beer cans beer cans i looked at a chair and stuff like that and just tossed it off to the side now. Where'd you try to stop originally? Business 53 and 27th Ave. Then we went down North Crossing, up Black Ave. <laughs> Which, I was right there, and I got down and I saw lights going westbound. I'm like, I, well, I knew I it all, and I'm like, I'm like I seen him turn on to Indian Creek, and I'm like, I got him. This is a dead end. It's going to go into Lake Altoona. And then I'm like, how much ice is he going to drive on Lake Altoona? All of a sudden, he just, I'm like, oh, God. As assisting officers stationed themselves on the other side of the lake, they observed the truck was stuck in the snow and Nicholas was seen fleeing from it. Is that him right there? Is that him right there, Ed? I got a rifle. Let's get to an area of cover here. Let's get over here or something. Is that the truck? Yes, walking 412 County. We have a visual on the truck. We believe the subject is walking on the ice to the northeast on foot. Do you want to just switch with me just in case this guy comes? I don't want him ramming my car with the dog in it if he decides to be a... Yeah. If you just want to pull your squad with mine is... See him? No, he's right here. Yeah. Hold on, Ed. Does uh, County's K-9, does Altoona, or uh, Halley have a K-9? We have no K-9s, though. No. He's right, right ahead of us. Yeah. Where is he at right now? He killed his life. He's over on the other side of the lake by the other landing. Oh, okay, and, and that, there's an Altoona squad set up there because yep. I saw headlights, so. Do you want me to clear the car? Yes. Yeah. Where is he? Oh, I see right ahead of us. Yeah, so I'm just gonna have you pull in. Just, I don't want him, if he decides to come this way and ram a car and start hitting the spikes, I don't want the dog taking a ride. Yeah, my dog doesn't do apprehension, so. When we get close, give me a light. Yeah. I'll just go with my gun light. Huh? Go with my gun light and flash Flashlight. I've got my cane out here, but she's not apprehension. Mm. She'll just chase him down and look for a toy. Testing! Stay down! Get down or you may release a canine! He's down. Okay. Let's keep the air clear. We're catching up to him now. Stop running! Please! You want to go lethal? I'll take the pepper wall and get him. I can get him. Stop where you're going to get pepper ball! Get on the ground right now! He's walking away, not following commands. <coughs> Jesus. Put your hands up, and you're gonna get hit with pepper ball. Just get down on your knees. Keep your hands up. Of course, I'm gonna have gun gunpoint. Are you gonna gunpoint? You keep gun gun. Keep lethal out. Stay right there. Don't move. Hold, we got people behind us. Stay right there. All right, let's just wait, just wait, hold. We're waiting. Let's catch up. I'm not gonna hurt you guys. All right. We got hands. Keep your hands in the air. Max, you go hands. Max holster, go hands. Yeah, back. Yep, we're just turning the flashlight. Okay. Arms out to your side like an airplane, on your face, on your face. Do not look at us. I love you, Jimmy. I love you. Are you hurt? No. 407 County, one in custody. While taking him into custody, they noticed he had a strong odor of intoxicants coming from him. Additionally, they discovered an open 30 pack of Bush Light beer in his truck, along with a can in his pocket. Whew. All right, turn over to me. Let me grab my phone. Yeah, I will. <sighs> that was a hike. Dude, I wiped out on the ice back there. What's your name? Nick. I'm a, fe I'm a felon. Nate? No, Nick. Nick? That's All right. me. Straighten this leg. I'm going to bring you to your knee and then we're going to stand up, okay? All right. I don't know. I, I'm not going to hurt you guys. I <laughs> appreciate that, dude. Can I at least get a cigarette? You no, hey. Stop Just stop, stop turning. Moving. Let's search him right now. You got anything on you that's going to stick me, poke me, hurt me? Uh, if anything, I got you know, maybe a little bit of THC. No right weapons? Here. No. Okay. Yeah. No. I ain't no dangerous person. I ain't no. <laughs> Anybody else in the car with you? No, just me. Did anybody clear that? No. No. Okay. Hold this phone. We'll go clear the car. Right. You're away with him? Yeah. Well, yeah. We're good. We'll walk him back towards the Altoona boat landing. Can I at least have a cigarette, please? No. Yeah, I have one on you. Maybe when well, we get back yeah. to the boat landing. Let's all catch our breath. You've been decent with yeah, us. Appreciate that. But I said, I appreciate like I said, you stopping. I'll, if anything, I got THC on me. That's, that's it. That's not what we're I'm worried about pen. right now. Yeah. No, I appreciate you not giving us a hard time fighting with us. So. Hanging the bibs. Hanging the sweatshirt like pocket. If anything, I got a f 
Chicken pen, that's it. Okay. Yeah, just where is it? Is okay. there anything in the truck we need to know about? I have not clue. No. Okay. No, literally, man. Okay. That was it. Just asking. I'm not, we, we don't know who we deal with. I know. I know. Yep. I get it. Said, I really appreciate you being honest and decent with us. Give me a workout, that's for sure. Yeah, I know. It says I'm a felon all over, all over, all over. That's not me, though. I'm trying to f***ing get my f*** together. You guys will make, you, make me sound like I'm a bad guy, but that's not me, though. I don't think you're a bad guy. I judge you more for drinking Bush and not Miller. <laughs> yeah, I like Coors. I don't even know why, honestly, that there's a Bush in there. I'd rather drink Coors, fuck. Holy... You got a million pockets on this jacket, man. Two. Can I at least we'll be walking back, back shortly. I just want to talk to her one more time. So I'm going to prison. I'm going. Not anything in the hat, right? No. No, take it off. I don't give a f No, there's nothing. I'm just trying to go hang out with my brother for his birthday. You want to just take him, you want to pick him up, transport him, and just take him to jail and do fields in the Sally Port at the jail? He's going for the pursuit. Check this pocket. Yeah, go ahead. Like I said. The only thing you're gonna find on me is some weed. Ooh. I'm just gonna show you don't fall on the ice here, right? Since yeah, you're handcuffed, I want you to fall on your face and not be able to stop yourself. I appreciate it, thank you. Went to work today, came home, went to go celebrate my brother's birthday. Can I have a smoke? Too? Well, we'll, we'll, get, we'll, we'll get over there, we'll get you one. Just get off the ice. Yep. You're a ballsy guy for driving a truck on the ice. It's kind of been warm out, man. Uh, they've been out here. Say, I was wondering if I should go after you. <laughs> you guys got out here quick. I'll tell you that. Well, thanks for the hustle out there, guys. <laughs> What's a first? I mean, it was a valid effort by him, but that's not a great decision. Well, had we not that known right away when you got to the lake, had that not have been put out, he would have got off the other side if he knew exactly where he was going. Yeah. Because that was a total working thing to get out to the back over there. So I got down here, and I'm like, call Eau Claire, and then I'm like, I'm pretty sure Bell's on in Altoona. So I called Ed, and I said, hey. He's like, I'm in a 1080 right now. I said, I am in the 1080. <laughs> <laughs> get get over to the other landing. Can I talk to my girl one more time, too, please? We'll work on a phone call later. I mean, I get that. But yeah. I know right now we got some other stuff we got to take care of, right? Ooh. Let's take it nice and slow, right? Yeah, we don't like, need to. We I don't ain't need... trying to do it. I know it's, you know it's I mean? slick. I almost I almost fell too coming out here. So let's just. Are you okay if we drive the car back to the shore here? Oh, is it going to towed? Yeah, one or the other. Well, I'd rather drive it out here. I can have someone come pick it up. All right. Out here. I'm not, like I said, I don't got nothing against you. I'm not going to hurt you guys. Stop me. No, we appreciate that. We just don't know that ahead of time because some yeah, people do, I you know. I understand. I know how it goes. No, it means a lot to me when you're caught, you're caught, and you're being exactly. respectful. So I appreciate that. Exactly. I haven't checked your record or anything yet. Do you have a warrant? No, I oh. got no warrant because I'm on probation. I got gotcha. you. I'm not going nowhere. Yeah. I'll put my hands right here. Probably. Do whatever you need to. Here you go. Open your mouth. Well, I'm trying my best here, man. It's cold. The lighter's cold. Cool. There you go. There you go. You want to call your girl or what? Yeah. Baby, mama know knows what's going on at least. You know. Is that who you were talking to out on the lake? Yeah. Oh, it looks Here's like she's still on the phone. Hey, what's up, baby? Uh, the truck's out on the lake. You can grab the cigarette. It's stuck to my lips, sir. No, it's on. And it's only a two-wheel drive, so it's stuck on the lake it's right now. That's the only reason why I stopped. Well, the truck's going to get towed. No, it's on the lake. You're not going to get it off there. It doesn't oh, yeah. matter. I don't give a f about that truck. I'm going to prison right now, so goodbye. There goes the phone. You done with the call? No. Well, well I mean, kind of, but... Good enough. Can your girlfriend come get it? Yeah, she can come get it tomorrow. Your truck's stuck out on the lake, so we're leaving. His girlfriend's going to come get it. I love you, baby. See you later. All right, I love you. No reason. Tell her, don't. Tell it's going to be on the lake. It's, my truck will be on the lake. Don't cry. Fucking, we'll figure it out, I guess. So Nicholas, N-I-C-H-O-L-A-S. Yep. Is that a truck out there still? Yeah, it's stuck. We're leaving it. It's stuck out there? Yep. <laughs> so just confirm you're not hurt or anything like that? Don't need an ambulance? Okay. Use some water. Yeah, if I had one, I'd give you one. I don't know if anybody else has. So, Mr. Ricky, I'm Officer Suskowski with Lake Halley Police Department. I'm going to put you in the transport belt. We're going to go down to the Chippewa County Jail. Sound good? Chippewa? Chippewa, yeah. Okay. Since that's kind of where it originated at. So. Okay. Yep. Have you been decent with everybody? Yeah. 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 I'm not I'm not comprehensive. I'm like not Nobody, uh, what's going to happen when we get you out of the handcuffs, we're going to get this jacket off. You'll be fine for a little bit until I get you in the car. Right. Right. Just do whatever you need to do. Let's search go. So, yeah. Search me out. Like I said, I'm not going to be comprehensive. I'm not going to be comprehensive.
I'd rather put this on you, it's gonna be up front, all right? Just following our protocol. He lost a pile of MPs every corner with yeah. his beer cans coming. Well, when I saw you, he lost fishing equipment, I'm like, he's drawing the lake, so we're walking. Yeah, yeah. Well, I suppose we got on Black Avenue yeah, well, and the tailgate went down. Right now and also, the sled here. comes <laughs> out with yogurt. I'm not gonna. Be, yeah, well, it'd be kind of stupid to right now with all the cops here. <laughs> I get that. I know. I'm, I'm just saying. If I'm yeah. sick of this shit with my fucking. When I got up there, there right people here. were already scavenging all this stuff. <laughs> Jesus. People are free equipment. I'm sure somebody's got a vaccine. Yeah, they'll be much more comfortable if you keep your arms like that. You know, you've been telling me you wanted to get out on the ice this year. You know, you. <laughs> And I, you. Searched, and I said, hey, I'll get you out on the ice this year, you know, I just didn't say whether it was with a rod or not. Some days I feel like my dad's 5,000 miles away, and some other days are like today. <laughs> so, back to my squad car has been searched prior to anybody being in there, it will be searched after you're done in there. I got nothing. Well, I'm just telling you that if something does pop up while yeah, we're at the jail and yeah. stuff, so. I know how it goes. We'll get over there, we'll get in my car, see what they want the red light on. Thank you. Put your arms right up through there. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. You at least play some bangers. What do you want? Uh, some country. 95.1 or, uh, or 106.7. There you go. I appreciate it. Thank you. No problem. He was then transported to the county jail where he refused all tests. Upon reviewing his records, it was also discovered he was on probation and had two prior OWI convictions. Nicholas was hit with felony counts of vehicle fleeing eluding an officer, which was a repeater. Misdemeanor counts of OWI, third offense, operating with prohibited alcohol content and operating while revoked. He further earned himself over $2,400 in traffic citations. A search warrant was obtained for his blood, which later revealed he had a blood alcohol concentration of 0.18 at the time of the incident. Ultimately, he was given a cash bond set at $1,000. Want a deeper look into the channel or craving additional content? Explore Code Blue Cam on Patreon for exclusive content, behind the scenes access, giveaways, and much more.